your devotion. Your time with God is at stake. I learned that when you hear so much negative stuff and involved in so much negative stuff, you can't be a good prayer warrior. You can't have good fellowship with God. Don't tell me, Pastor, I hear it, don't bother me. Stop it. You can't control the thoughts. Once you hear it, it may go away for a minute, but oh, in a moment when you never expect it, oh, can I get a witness here? It run right back. Oh, hallelujah. And you hear yourself saying, how could this be? Can I get a witness here? Oh, hallelujah. It comes in your Bible reading time. A time when you don't need it. It comes in your prayer time. A time when you don't need it. It comes in your fasting time. A time when you don't need it. Oh, Lord God Almighty, can I get a witness here? Oh, hallelujah. And you've got to take some time to shake it. In the name of Jesus. Come on, man. Line up with the word of God. I'm here to pray. I'm here to worship. I'm here to praise. I'm here to read the word. Satan, in the name of Jesus, get on my way. I rebuke you. I rebuke you. Thoughts line up with the word of God. Come the Holy Spirit. Come take control. Can I get a witness here? Can I get a witness here? You're better off sometime if you didn't hear it. And let the Lord have his way in your life. Every day, you focus on God. Spirit of truth. He's leading you into all truth. Truth to worship. Truth to praise. Truth to read the word. Truth to sing. Truth to live your life for Jesus Christ. Truth to overcome. You need the spirit of truth to overcome doctrine of devil. Spiritual wickedness in high places. Principalities and powers. Rulers of darkness you need the spirit of truth oh no bakasa hallelujah 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 oh glory to God that's what we need we don't need to park the spirit of truth we need him daily hallelujah that bread of God to breathe Open us. So when we park the Holy Spirit, we put aside the helper. We put aside the spirit of truth. As a matter of fact, we put aside the personal presence of Christ. Can I get a witness here? So stay there. We put aside the very manifestation. Hallelujah. Of what the Holy Spirit would allow us to manifest. So folks can know that we are different. Can I get a witness here? We put aside the abiding presence. He said, I'll be with you. I'll never leave you. So you leave truth. You leave comforter. You leave guide. You leave the very presence of God. What do we expect to hear and to see if you leave all your stuff, your essential stuff that you need? You leave it, you walk away from it. It only can manifest into darkness. And lies. And not only that, but when you lay the Holy Spirit aside, you leave a teacher. Lord, back home they say you're done such a bat. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> you can't read. They say you're too dunce. <laughs> Am I talking right? <laughs> you're not literate at all. You got problem. I'm not talking to you, dunce bat. You have some kids in school that call him dunce bat. No talk to me, you dunce bat you. Lord God, are we there, church? When we try to suppress the Holy Spirit, we're suppressing the teacher. No wonder we act so foolish and so much nonsense come out of our mouth because this thinking flesh here. I didn't say you know, I said this thinking flesh. So don't go say, Pastor, call the flesh thinking flesh. I said this thinking flesh. <laughs> Only me can beat me. <laughs> this thinking flesh here. It loved to exalt itself. And when it starts to exalt itself, it knows no barrier until it gets shame. 
It only comes to itself when it gets shame for a moment. Cool and repeat all over again. Because self is a boaster. Self. Love to talk about self. Self baptized in self grandizing self gratification it's all about me myself and i the only person that get hurt is self doesn't matter who self hurt the only person that get hurt is self so self is so selfish and self is all about self and that's why when this bible was being written holy men of god move by the power of the holy spirit Oh, God Almighty. And nothing about Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. Everything about God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. It takes the Holy Spirit to do that, praise God. So when we leave the Holy Spirit, we we'll leave our teacher. And when you leave your teacher, you're bound to do foolishness. Am I talking right? All kind of nonsense coming out your mouth because you need to go back go submit yourself to your teacher can i get a witness here so we think the holy ghost is just to speak in tongues and shout and say hey oh no 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 he's much deeper than that he's a guide he's a comforter he's a teacher he's a helper can i get a witness here he's a sustainer oh god oh god oh god oh god he's our all in all and he will bring back all things if I call him our rememberer, our remembrance, he will bring back all things to our remembrance. Stuff that we forget. But it's, we saw it, we read it, we know it. And in the time when we need it, Holy Ghost will bring it back to our memory. Do you see how important it is for us to cry out? That the spirit of God stays with us. Because it's his church. And if he's not running it, it is not running. Can I get a witness here? It become cold. It become dead. Can I get a witness here? Not the building. The building color don't change unless you and I change it. Can I get a witness here? But the people, the temper of the living God, we who God dwells in, we are the one to make sure that the Holy Spirit continues to be alive and well in our hearts and our soul and in our temper. Can I get a witness here? We are the one. Oh, hallelujah. Can I get a witness in the house? As a matter of fact, thank you, Holy Ghost. As a matter of fact, we can't even be invested in church unless we're invested in God. Let me say it again. We can be invested in the organization that we are part of. For real. Until we are truly invested in God. Because church, when you are invested in God, in no matter what, this is to say you do. <sighs> because when you're invested in God... When he said, keep my commandments, your heart has to be in my heart. Not half, but fully. When he says that, you don't see it as the sister coming in with you. Can I get a witness here? You see it as God's church. And the sister is added daily to be saved. Can I get a witness here? Oh, hallelujah. The brother is there to be saved. Can I get a witness here? So your responsibility increase. Not only you go work in the church now, but you go pray for the brother and pray for the sister. Oh, hallelujah. That they come to know the truth, eternal life. And we all can join hands together and sing when the saints go marching in. Oh Lord, not that I want to, I'm in the number when the saints go marching in. When you're invested in God, oh hallelujah, because no company, firm, business flow right until the people that are at the top is invested. Hallelujah. It doesn't mean that you own a piece of the company. No, sir. You know who nothing. But you're there as a partner, as a director, as whatever office you hold, you have to be invested. If you're not invested, you're not here. 
what happened? Can I get a witness here? But greater than that, it's not a company as in one in the, night, in the world out there. It's God's business. Oh, Jesus, have mercy. None of us are owners. We are all ambassadors for Christ. Can I get a witness here? Oh, we represent him. We don't have no ownership stake in this thing. Can I get a witness here? I, 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 I. When we came here, the church was here. And when we leave, oh, can I get a witness? <laughs> Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Oh, glory to God. So we are all ambassadors for Christ. We are representative of the Lord Jesus Christ. He's the owner. He's the head of the church. He call you. He assign you. He appoint you. He anoint you. He ordain you. I said, go work in my vineyard. Penny a day. Holy Spirit. So first, we have to come to the recognition, the, the knowledge that, hey, I'm involved in something here. It's not man's stuff. It's God's stuff. You think I'm going to allow you to come to my house that I work so hard and let you come? I don't care how I love you and love your child or your children, whether they be mine or not. And your child, take marker. The one we can come out, the permanent one. And outside in the driveway or the front plane, and all of a sudden, the foolishness that the wise man said bound up in his heart, he pull out the permanent marker and start to mark on the side. Oh, Grandpa, Daddy! <laughs> and I'm gonna laugh and say, Oh, put this. Oh no! Well, Pastor, it's just siding. Uh uh. No, 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 no. no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Invest too much. It's hard. I don't want to see anybody. Come on, destroy. So I will take him or her. If it's mine, I'll take them to the spot. I'll speak to them in their language if I can. Help them to understand the value. Of things and the word. I've taken care of it. Can I get a witness here? Can I get a witness here? Why am I going to do that? Because I've invested so much. Whew. I don't want to devalue it. I don't want to bring it down. The same and much more for the work of God. When you invested in the work of God. They call you chatterbox. When they see you coming up the stairs, they go back to the foyer door. They didn't hear. <laughs> they tell you, you see that one? Be careful. <laughs> because they label you as somebody, go run to pastor and tell him everything because you invested in the work of Almighty God. When you are not invested, they could tear the roof off. You don't care. Can I get a witness here? Can I? Witness here, but when you are invested, when they say, No man, that's God's work, that's God's work, I can't let this happen to God's work. I gotta do what I have to do, I gotta stand up, I gotta put my foot down, not for bishop, not for prophet, but for the cause of Almighty God, because I am invested. Oh God, hallelujah! I gotta protect this. Why don't you agree with me? It's true. Two of you looking after the patient. One is sloppy. One is diligent. If you're the diligent one, you are not going to allow that sloppy attendant to cause you to lose your job. Oh no. You go call them out. And if you have to write them up, you go write them up. Can I get a witness here? Because you're saying, oh, no, 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 no. Two of us in this case, and I won't allow you to let me get blame for what you do. So you know what? You got to know what you're doing. And when I take over from you, I won't document everything. I will search a patient, whatever I got to do, because I'm not taking any responsibility for what you do, because that's your job. Can I get a witness here? You are making sure you are protected. You invested. So when you invested in God, your heart is in Him. When this pulpit is for God, 
when this altar rail is God, when these steps are God's altar steps, when this carpet is God's carpet, when this house is God's house, can I get a witness here? Can I get a witness here? You don't treat it like any and any house. You guard it. Can I get a witness here? You guard it with everything you got. Can I get a witness here? When your pastor is God's man, you guard him with everything you got. When your pastor's wife is God's woman, you guard her with everything you got. Can I get a witness here? For God, call them, assign them, place them to speak in your life for the, for the time being. Until he says so, you guard them. Nothing to do with worship, man. Everything to do with invested in God. That's the word. Holy Spirit is our teacher. He teaches us that. So when you are that invested, it becomes much easier for you. When you are fully invested in God, it becomes much easier for you to protect his work. To stand up for his work. To defend his work. To contend for his work. Can I get a witness here? Oh, hallelujah. Because you're fully invested. You couldn't care what nobody want to say. Am I talking right? God, this is not your end. It's God. I'm just an ambassador. I'm just keeping the peace. I'm just, you ask my own opinion. I can't give my own opinion. I ask for my own opinion in the street. And when you ask me in the street, it can't be about church. It has to be about something else. Because if you ask me about my own opinion about the church in the street, I can't answer you unless I say what the ambassador, the, the message I receive to give. If you ask me about something different, I can answer and give my own opinion. But that which I'm an ambassador for, I cannot speak out of term. Balak called the prophet Balaam. To curse the children of God. And for seven times, he changed spots. Bill halters and said, curse them now. And the prophet said, I cannot. I can't curse who God bless. I can't say what you want me to say. I only can say what he would have me to say. Can I get a witness here? And instead of a blessing, it becomes. Instead of a cursing, it becomes a blessing. We cannot. When you're fully invested in God's work, in God, it's easier to stand up for his work down here. It becomes natural. It just come out of you. Oh, yes. It, 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 just, it just come out to you. You, you, you. you don't care what folks want to say about you. It, it, it don't take no effect. You run off your back. It just, it just, you don't care. Am I talking right? Oh boy. I, I remember a sister back home. She says, oh, she was in the church. Everybody know her. You know her from a million miles away. And true when you see her coming, something you're back up and hide. Pastor, have you ever hid from her? Nope. Because I ain't got nothing negative saying. So I ain't got no reason to hide. If I was talking and she was coming, my direction, I still keep talking. I don't stop talk. Because I wasn't saying anything for her to go say, I say. Am I talking right? But she will tell you. Yes. I know sometimes you hear them saying, she's coming, she's coming. She come down, she say, yes, I know. I'm coming, I'm here. And I'm here to report you. She don't hide it. She said, I am here to report you. You know what she did one time? She was with a sister. And she and the sister moved very close. They sewed together. And the sister was always talking about pastor. And pastor wife from the church always have a problem. You know what she did? She joined in with her. And she made her believe that she too had a problem with pastor. And the sister spilled out everything. All of them. And she said, yes, it's true. They're not good. And all the sister think that was tonic for her. That just keep her on. And everything that she said, the sister went right back to pastor. And the sister that was speaking about pastor was wealthy in her own way and give pastor a lot of gifts and a lot of stuff and give good offering to the church too. No question about that. The sister that takes the news, she couldn't give much. And she didn't have much. But she was invested in the work of God. Oh God of mercy. 
And she told pastor everything. And when she told pastor, pastor, call the sister who said it. He said, how could you? She said, oh, pastor, no, 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 no. He said, yes, can you talk to someone? So she said, oh, pastor, the sister the pastor called me. Said, pastor called her in the office. It was a Wednesday. Never forget it. And she came in the office and she said, yes, I did. You did it. But you said, she said, yes, I say it. I say all those things to hear your guts, to let us take every bad thing about pastor. You say it to me and I come and tell him because you're not good. No, no, but it's the truth. I'm talking truth here. From that day till the day that sister died, the one that said those bad things about pastor, she never come back in his light and his grace as before. Call it what you will. Never. Because he sees it as somebody who is a threat to the work that God calls him to do. Oh, you didn't hear what I said. Oh, hallelujah. Say what you want to say. I'm preaching Bible. When Jesus knew who Judas was, oh, God of mercy. Oh, yes, he handled him, but he handled him with the wisdom of Almighty God. Can I get a witness here? When he knew who Peter was, he was on him. You better change. Good is in you. You gotta change. Good is in you. Come up higher. Come up higher. Put up your sword. Good is in you. God is in you. God is in you. Until Peter become a powerhouse in the church of the living God. You can't put aside your teacher. He's the Holy Spirit. He's real. You can't put aside the comforter. If we need the comfort, you can't call the bosata. And when God showed me this, he said, he's not just speaking in tongues. That's the other dimension. That's the other dimension. It's more than that. When you put the Holy Spirit aside, you're throwing away your entire foundation. What you need to build, all the materials you need to build on the foundation, you throw them away. Can I get a witness here? I will send you another comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. Huh? Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost whom the Father will send in my name. He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I've commanded you. And my God, my peace, I leave with you. Tell the Lord, thank you. Huh? Do we have that peace? So let nothing, let nothing, let your heart be troubled. Don't try to be invested in Faith Worship Center first. Try to be invested in God first. Say, God, this is where you place me. Let me be invested in you. Because only then I will know your will and what you would have me to do. Can I get a witness here? And when you get invested in God first, it will translate. It will transfer. Can I get a witness here? Down to Fed Worship Center. And then you will be the powerhouse that God desires to use. Stand with me today. God is real. Jesus is real. And the Holy Spirit is real. Oh, glory to God. 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 He's real. He's real. Praise God. My doubts are settled. And I know that he's real. Brothers and sisters, let's draw near to the Lord. And let that Holy Spirit take full control. For we are called in this service. And he said, many are called, but few are chosen. If we are the chosen ones, let's be who God wants us to be. And invested in God and his work. And the Lord will have his way. Come on and tell the Lord, thank you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for those in media land. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise. We pray you touch, Lord, internally. And touch externally. Bring home deliverance. Save those who need to be saved. Deliver to those who need to be delivered. Let your anointing do it now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for your healing touch. Thank you for your healing power. And all the saints at home, Lord. Those that are sick in body. Those that are fearful. In the name of Jesus. I place them all in your care. Strengthen them, God. Heal and grant boldness of spirit. That they may speak your name with boldness. 
Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for victory. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Put your hands together. And tell it all, thank you. Thank you for tuning in today. We pray you receive a blessing. See you next week. In Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on.